I tend to limit myself shooting more black and white because of the developing process. I don't shoot enough to consider buying the chemicals and labs generally tend to take longer to process black and white. Some of them don't even do it anymore. So this week I thought I'd try out the Cine Still Mono Bath, which is supposedly one of the easiest ways to develop your black and white film at home. This chemical is a mono bath, which means that it takes care of the whole developing process with a single chemical. It's also not even crazy expensive. This stuff runs about $20 per bottle and it says you can do 16 rolls. So in order to use this, you're gonna need a couple things. You need a developing tank, which allows you to pour this liquid in and out of the tank without light going in and touching your film. I just use these Patterson developing tanks. I'll have links in the description to where you can find all the stuff you need. These are pretty cheap and they work well. I load the film up in my bathroom and then I walk out with this tank into the light and I can pour the chemicals in and out. The next thing you're gonna need is a couple rolls of film to develop. I'm gonna try both medium format and 35 millimeter. I'm curious to see if the developer will have different results depending on the format. And of course, lastly, you're gonna need a bottle of Cine Still Developer. This stuff is called DF96 and it comes in a liter bottle. That's enough for two rolls of medium format at once or two rolls of 35 millimeter. The first thing you wanna do is load the film. If you've never done this before, I would definitely recommend you practice once before with a blank roll of film. Just practice loading it into the reels in the light because once you get into the dark, it gets surprisingly difficult. So what's cool about this is that you don't necessarily have to heat up these chemicals even. They give you different developing times for different room temperatures that this chemical might be at. I just decided to heat mine to 80 degrees Fahrenheit because that's what's recommended and that's what gives you the shortest developing time, which is three minutes. So to do this, I just place the chemical in a tub of water in my bathtub and I let hot water run over it until it got to 80 degrees. This only took about a minute or so, so I don't think it adds too much to the process to complicate it, but it's definitely an extra step, although you don't have to do this. The next thing I did after my film was loaded and my chemicals were warmed up was just rinse the tank with water. I like to have the recommended temperature water, which is 80 degrees. Uh, this just allows the tank to heat up too, so that when you pour in the chemicals, it doesn't immediately cool down your developer. Once you've poured in the chemicals, you can go ahead and agitate the tank. Just try to have like an even agitation pattern so that the developer is kind of spreading evenly on the film so you don't get any weird development marks. Once the timer hits zero, you can go ahead and pour the chemicals back into the bottle because the stuff is reusable. You can do about 16 rolls with this, which is a pretty good amount. I rinsed my film a couple of times after this just to clean off any of the remaining developer and just wash off all the chemicals. And then you can take out the film and have a look at it. It's really that easy and I was so surprised by how well this works. I've been developing black and white film with a much longer process at school for the past year and I just thought it was really cool to be able to try out this developer that somehow magically does it in three minutes. Of course there is a little bit of a trade-off for this. Um, the film is slightly more contrasty when you use this kind of developer. I definitely noticed this more in the 35 millimeter than I did in the medium format but nonetheless I don't think it's a bad look by any means and I think the 
photos that I developed with this turned out pretty cool. The photos also came out with pretty standard grain, which I thought was awesome. Um, I thought that for some reason using this developer, which seems almost too quick, would make the photos much grainier, but they have a really nice even grain and I think it's a good look. Obviously this developer only works with black and white film, which is kind of the one downside. I don't think a developer like this will ever exist for color film but it's cool to know that if you only shoot a couple rolls of black and white a month that there's an easier way to develop it than buying a whole set of chemicals. You can just buy this one bottle and be done with it. It's super quick and I'm definitely gonna be using this in the future for developing black and white at home. If you wanna know how to develop color film at home, I'll leave a video that I made a while ago at the end and in the description. You can check that out if you're interested. My Instagram will also be in the description along with everything else that you might need if you wanna try this at home. That's it for now. Peace.